Uh, Nathan Mirabold and I actually are backing a, a company that perhaps surprisingly is actually taking the nuclear approach. Uh, there are some innovations in nuclear, modular, liquid, uh, and innovation really stopped in this industry quite some time ago. So the idea that there's some good ideas laying around uh, is not all that surprising. The idea with TerraPower is that instead of burning the part of uranium, the 1%, which is the U-235, we decided, well, let's burn the 99%, the U-238. It is kind of a crazy idea. In fact, people had talked about it for a long time, but they could never simulate properly whether it would work or not. And so it's through the advent of modern supercomputers that now you can simulate and see that, yes, with the right materials approach, uh, this uh, looks like it would work. And because you're burning that 99%, uh, you have a uh, greatly improved cost uh, profile. You actually burn up the waste. And you can actually use as fuel all the leftover waste from today's reactors. And so instead of worrying about them, you just take that. It's a great thing. It breeds this uranium as it goes along. So it's kind of like a candle. You can see it's, it's a log there, often referred to as a traveling wave reactor. In terms of fuel, uh, this really solves the problem. I've got a picture here of a place in Kentucky. This is the leftover, the 99% where they've taken out the part they burn now, so it's called depleted uranium. That would power the U.S. for hundreds of years. And simply by filtering seawater in an inexpensive process, you'd have enough fuel for the entire lifetime of the rest of the planet. So, you know, it's got lots, lots of challenges ahead, but it is an example of the many hundreds and hundreds of ideas that we need to move forward.